we're in Google Sheets and we want to highlight duplicates, I'm going to look at a number of scenarios where you'd want to do this. And if you look down in the description, you'll see the links to the different topics I cover in this video. First scenario, I've got a list of customers and I want to highlight those that appear more than once. We're going to use conditional formatting to highlight the duplicates and the conditional formatting is going to be based on a formula. The function we're going to use in this formula is count if. What I tend to do is write my formula into my spreadsheet and then once I'm happy it works, I will then copy and paste it into my conditional formatting rule. Equals count if. My range is the list of customers that I want to find duplicates in. So I select that range of cells and I will need to lock that range. I'm going to do that with the F4 key at the top of my keyboard. That puts the dollars in those cell references. If F4 doesn't work, you can just type the dollars in. Comma, criterion is the customer in this particular row. Close bracket, press enter. And then I'm going to copy this formula down. And you can see it tells me how many times each of these customers appear. What I really want to know is, does the customer appear more than once? What I can do is make this formula a test. After my count if function, I'm going to say greater than one. So does the result of the count if function give a value that's greater than one? I then copy that down, you can see the results. Now I have the formula that I can use in my conditional formatting. I need to copy that, Control C, my keyboard. Then select all the cells that I want to apply the conditional formatting to. Then I go to Format, Conditional Formatting. Over here on the right, you can see the range of cells that the conditional formatting is going to apply to. In other words, the cells that I've already selected. In the Format Rules drop-down menu, you need to select Custom Formula Is. That's right at the bottom of the menu. And then in the little box underneath that drop-down, you paste in your formula. If you look over in my spreadsheet, you can see that it has highlighted the customer names that appear more than once. If you're not happy with that color, you can just go and change the fill color down here change it to that orange, for example. Once you're happy, just click on Done. Once you've successfully applied your conditional formatting, you can get rid of the formula that you've written in your spreadsheet. I'll just select all those cells and press Delete. The fact that you've deleted this formula won't affect the conditional formatting at all. In this example, we want to do something similar, but we don't want to format the first occurrence of the customer name. Again, I'm going to write a formula for this using the count if function. Range is slightly different in this example. The range actually needs to grow as we copy the formula down. In the first instance, our range is just going to be the first cell, F3. As I copy the formula down to the next cell, the range needs to grow so it's two cells deep. Then as I copy the formula down to the third row, the range needs to grow so it's three cells deep. Now the way to do this is to select the first cell that you want to reference and lock it, again using the F4 key on your keyboard. Put a colon in and then type that cell address in again. Now by not fixing this cell reference, it means that it will change its row number as I copy the formula down. Therefore, this range will grow as I copy the formula down this column. Comma, criterion is the first customer name we have in our list. And what I want to do is say, does it appear more than once? Now I can either copy this formula down or I can just accept this suggested autofill. So in this example, I'm just gonna click on this little tick. So now I have my formula ready for the conditional formatting. I'm gonna copy it. Select all the customer names, go to Format, Conditional Formatting, Format Rules, Custom Formula Is, paste my formula in, click on Done, and you can see it applies the formatting to 
fewer customer names. It doesn't apply the formatting to the first occurrence of the customer name in this list. In the previous examples, we've looked for duplicates in a single column, but you can apply the same technique to a range that is two dimensional, multiple rows and multiple columns. Equals count if my range are all the cells that I'm looking for duplicates in. And I do need to fix that comma. And my criterion is the first value that I'm counting. Close the bracket. And then I'm saying, is that result greater than one? If I copy this down, and I copy across, you can see I get my results. I'll use that formula in my conditional formatting. You can see it highlights or formats the duplicate values. This example is slightly different. We have two separate columns. I want to look for customers in February that also spent money in January. To do this, we're going to use the match function. Now match returns the position of a value within a range. Now that numeric position is not important to us, but conditional formatting will apply its format if the match function returns a number. Match will only return a number if it finds the customer name in the January list. Our search key is the first customer name in our February list, comma. Range is the range of sales that we're looking for our customer name in. In other words, the January list. And I need to fix that reference, comma. Search type is zero. Close the bracket, press enter and I'll go with this suggested autofill. So as I said, if the customer name is found in the January list, it will return its position, otherwise it returns the NA error. I can now copy this formula, select my customer names in the February list, then go to Format, Conditional Formatting. In the Format Rules dropdown, I can select Custom Formula Is, and then I place my formula in the value or formula box. Click on done. If I close down this conditional formatting rules dialog, you can see all the customers in February that spent money in January. In this example, we want to format duplicate records. So I'm looking for duplicates in terms of the combination of area and department. For example, the combination of Northeastern advertising appears several times. The way to achieve this is to combine area and department as one value. And we can achieve this by concatenating the two values. Equals area ampersand department. Let's just delete these results for the meantime. To concatenate the whole of the area column with the whole of the department column, and we'll need to do this for the range argument within the COUNTIF function, we have to use the array formula function. Within the array formula function, I'm going to take the whole of the area column, fix that, and concatenate it with the whole of the department column, which I'm also going to fix then close the bracket and press enter. I can then put this formula within the count if function. This is my range, comma, and my criterion is the concatenation of the first area with the first department. Close bracket. And then I'm going to say, is that result greater than one? If I copy that down, the trues tell me that there is a duplicate record. I can now take this formula, copy it, select the records that I want to apply the conditional formatting to, 
and go to Format, Conditional Formatting. Format Rules drop down, select Custom Formula Is, and then paste your formula in this little box. Now what you'll see is that it only applies the conditional formatting to the first column we selected. To get it to apply to both columns, you need to add dollars to your criterion argument. And all you do is put a dollar before the letter reference in each cell reference. So a dollar before that B and a dollar before that C. And then you can see it also applies the conditional formatting to the second column. Click on done and we've completed our task. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next video.